will help because any amount will help Johns Hopkins be able to have um, better facilities or provide for people that can't afford it on their own. Um, I do have um, rewards for higher donation amounts, which you can see on the Extra Life page, but um, just anything you give uh, would be really helpful. And also, um, they um, have it so that you can donate uh, monthly instead of all at once. So if you don't have all the money now, but you know you want to give a large amount, you can do it that way. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Um, thank you for um, any donations that you can give. And thank you for supporting John Hopkins uh, Children's Center through Extra Life. Enjoy the stream. This year, I'm participating in Extra Life to raise money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Why? Because they saved my daughter's life two times. The first time was just within a few days of her being born. Um, they found out that she had um, something wrong with her intestines and they did a life-saving surgery. The second time was when she was two years old. And again, an intestinal issue that they found and uh, with a quick and easy surgery, uh, they were able to uh, fix her up and save her life once again. Um, she had the, the same problem that she had actually was uh, what killed one of the BGs. Um, so it's one of those things that if, if left undiagnosed, um, it just presents as so many other things. And so, you know, it was great that the doctors they were able to figure out what it was and give her the surgery that she needed. So any amount that you can give will help because any amount will help Johns Hopkins be able to have um, better facilities or provide for people that can't afford it on their own. Um, I do have um, rewards for higher donation amounts, which you can see on the Extra Life page, but um, just anything you give uh, would be really helpful. And also, um, they um, have it so that you can donate uh, monthly instead of all at once. So if you don't have all the money now, but you know you want to give a large amount, you can do it that way. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Um, thank you for um, any donations that you can give. And thank you for supporting John Hopkins uh, Children's Center through Extra Life. Enjoy the stream. It's time for Eric Checks Out Blaz Blue Calamity Trigger. Hey there. Um, so before, well, okay, first of all, let's check out this opening. This is one of the most anime openings I've ever seen for a game. So I have absolutely no idea what that's about, but it reminds me of all the anime openings that I used to watch when I was um, between uh, middle school and high school. Um, pretty epic, pretty ridiculous. Um, so first, before I forget, um, I have a new uh, do uh, donation. It was an anonymous person who donated um, 50 bucks. Um, <coughs> I uh, think I know how it is dep uh, based on the message they gave me. But since they put anonymous, I'm going to assume they want to remain anonymous. But I'm still very, very thankful. That brings our raised amount up to 309. Um, still have a goal of 1,000. Um, I'm not going to be playing on game day. Um, but we do have until the end of the year to, to reach our goal. So I'm going to try and get as close as I possibly can uh, with a sub goal of 500. Um, that'd be pretty awesome. So... Uh, <coughs> 
So uh, this is a, a new little um, series that I wanted to start here called um, Eric Checks Out. And um, it's meant to be similar to my brother's dance, Dan Demos or um, Giant Bomb's Quick Look. Um, it's kind of a, a first look at um, something that I've never come across before and kind of just playing it for the first time right here with you guys. Um, generally speaking, it's going to be for something that I don't expect to play very much. Um, I may um, come back to this at some point, but um, I, this is kind of just a stop along the way um, to the next game I want to play from now until um, I finish up with that game. So um, let's get into it. And here I am at the main menu, and I've got my um, Xbox wire, uh, 360 wireless controller for Windows, or at least it has the Windows dongle. And I put fresh batteries in, which was keeping it from going before. And I'm just going to go with the um, story mode, because if you look on um, Steam, all you see is people saying, the story's so amazing, the story's so amazing. I have no idea how amazing a fighting game story can be, <coughs> but let's check it out. Christmas Day. Assuming they still celebrate Christmas at that time. <laughs> this scene reminds me of, um, shoot, it's gonna bother me, I can't remember now. kids that drive these giant robot things. Um, not Gundam. The best we've had so far. Cut phases 12 through 24. If the efficient is within three units of nominal, cut phases 29 through 36, too. Let's take this straight to the tempering phase. Roger. Cutting phases 12 through 24. <laughs> Sir, don't you think you're going a little too fast? No. We've done 47 simulated runs. Our hesitance before made Subject 11 useless. Besides, if I don't produce results soon, we'll be hearing from Sector 7. Very, very enemy. The gates of Sheol are opening. Whoa. Do you really think it'll show? That's why all of this, all of us are here, isn't That's it? kind of like a we Hebrew... We can hardly get cold feet now, if this works. The power at our fingertips will far outstrip any other. The library will not be at liberty to order us around. Well, that's the higher-ups speaking, not me. To be honest, as a scientist, I just want to see what's on the other side. So she was kind of not heaven, not we hell. Do, kind of like a purgatory almost. At least it was during biblical times. Sorry about my allergies. I've been taking some it's medicine, but it doesn't seem to be working. Come. <coughs> now entering phase 42. Ooh, Gonzo. Releasing barrier section A. They've done a lot of stuff. Sync rate adjusted to 0 0.001. Seether exposure levels are at 75,000. Begin tempering. Now show us the universal truth, the power of the Azure. The power of Microsoft's Azure? Space is frozen, a cocoon of time. What's wrong? Tempering is proceeding as planned. The cauldron appears normal. Extremely high seether concentration detected. Directly above this facility. Six thousand. Eight thousand. 
12,000. What? Is it the library? Impossible. Not even the library could concentrate this much seether in one place. There's no way. I want the point of concentration. Now! Concentration to exceed 100,000! Oh, after coming this far, abort the experiment! Cut all power! Roger, cutting all power! Sir, we can't cut the power! What? What the hell is Sector 7 doing? Get them online! What the hell are they doing at a time like this? Sir, it's directly above Ikaruga! Altitude 36,000 feet! Impossible! It's going into orbit? I have absolutely no idea what's going on other than a traditional anime experiment gone wrong. Evangelion, that's what I was thinking of. It reminds me of Evangelion. I understand why they didn't animate, because it would be more expensive than just having these still images, but... I'm still not quite sure exactly what's going on or why this leads to a fighting tournament, but I guess we'll find out. <coughs> Right. So it looks like I can begin a bunch of stories. Pang Shigami. Arakune. It looks like one of those um, guys from, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Princess Mononoke. Carl Clover. Noel Vermillion. Rachel Alucard. Hmm, Elocard, eh? Could she be a vampire? Anime seems to love <coughs> Alucard. Alright, let's start with Lychee Failing. I found another name. Another reason that I like her name. This is not what I expect a doctor to wear. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That person was your last patient, you know. Nothing the matter. She came out of it. I do like the uh, panda thing up on the top of her hair. I was just thinking about how long it's been since I've come here to Kagitsuchi. It's actually been a while. But now that you mentioned it, you came to this town because you were looking for something, right? I take it you have some family. Really? I guess I am a little worn out. <laughs> Animation wise, this is kind of like uh speed racer with the mouse moving moving and everything else staying still. Maybe I'll 
try going up for a change. Of course, if there's an anime, the rich people live above and the other people live below. Huh? That's pretty rare. <laughs> Something's been bothering me lately. Ragnar the Blood Edge. Oh, so I guess maybe I should have played Ragnar first. <laughs> Librarian branches. Interesting. I wonder what the canonical order is supposed to be for the characters. I can't really stand like that. Everyone up on the higher layers treats the underground people like crap. Of course, because you're in an anime. That's true. I can't say that I agree. Like Battle Angel Alita. Well, if you're going out, Doc, be careful. I hear there are officials in the library still running around. Yeah, I'll be careful. If anything happens while I'm out, can you call Dr. Han over? Posted a lot on our wall too, didn't they? I'll tell you, this is a big step up from Street Fighter 2 where there was like a little text, then you'd fight it all the way at the end. You'd have some text that explained why the heck they were fighting. <coughs> if Ragna came from out of town, someone at the court probably saw him. Whoa. Definitely not dressed like a doctor right now. This is ridiculous. I have to take a screenshot. This is ridiculous. Also, is this like a... Oh, there we go. So I have to fight someone now. For no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Whatever that means. Huh. I'm surprised there's no tutorial. So I'm kind of button mashing because I don't know what the hell's going on. Not bad booby lady, that's kind of crazy. So I can see why people like this game. It kind of seems like... <laughs> oh boy. It's kind of like a mix of an RPG and a... A fighting game? Kind of like a cat. Fine. I guess it can't be <coughs> Tell, we need to settle down a little. Okay, meow. Yes, good answer. Now, Tao, you're lucky it was me, but you can't just jump on people like that. Okay, okay booby lady. <laughs> good response, and I appreciate you raising your hand. But are you sure you understand? You haven't done this to other people, have you, Tao? Oh, I haven't. Hmm? Booby lady, what's that? Meow. The booby lady thing is getting a little annoying. Do you want to see it? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Have I already been playing for 20 minutes? Holy moly. Huh? You mean he came to Orient Town? I 
caught him like bam, boom, and then he bought me lunch. So he's a good man, this white guy. As always, you have an interesting way with words. Huh. I believe Ragnar has already passed through Orientar. This must be what they mean when they say the base of the is ever dark. Thanks, Tal. It was good seeing you. I'm not really sure what happened, but I'm happy if I was able to help you. I'm taking off, so I'll see you around, booby lady. Wow. At least there was a reason for the for the attack, I guess. It's like some kind of cat thing that just attacks everyone. What was that? It came from the direction Tell went. So it is kind of like an RPG. No wonder people praise this story. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Let's go take a look. I should take a look. Tal might be carving a ruckus for some. <laughs> yep. That was fun, yeah. Not bad, little guy. Not bad yourself. I have some fighting experience, but you use a really interesting style. Oh, oh, man. White demons. Hey now, stop fighting this instant, you two. That seems quite out of line with the fact that they weren't fighting at the moment, but okay. This isn't a fight, booby lady. We're just playing meow. Um, are you a friend of this cat? I I'm sorry for all the noise. I'm merely a vigilante, as is this cat lady. So we decided to put our strengths to the test. A vigilante, huh? That doesn't seem like a really good thing. Yourself thinks you can hold your own against Tao, but it's still dangerous. Besides, huh? Nirvana? What is it doing here? I apologize for being so inconsistent. I only wanted to see some of her techniques, but I guess I'll be on my way now. Wait, that marionette of yours. Do you have some business with my sister? Sister? What is going on? This story's it's dangerous to have her by your side. At least let me. Do you intend to steal my sister from me? I'm terribly sorry, but I cannot comply with that request. Or are you going to resort to force? Well, I guess that's another reason for a fight. I don't see her as having said anything about taking the person, but okay. The wheel of fate is turning. Let's see what my top buttons do. Interesting. Whoa. Yikes. Whoa. Those arms are creepy. So that's a high kick up there. Looks like she doesn't do anything. Just stands there. So, I'm assuming I'm on easy mode. It's not too hard to just pick random buns. Sis, thank goodness you're okay. I thought they were going to party. man-made weapon from the war. So this marionette thing, which didn't do much during the fight, is a weapon of some sort. He thinks it's his sister. Are you okay? Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Thanks for everything you've done. <coughs> I'm okay now. I apologize for Ty jumping on you so suddenly. But why did you want to fight me so badly? It's not that I wanted to fight her. As I've explained earlier, as fellow vigilantes, we wanted to compare our strengths. Is that so? Huh? Looking at the way you two were fighting, one of you could have been killed. Uh, that was very rude of me. If it's the medical fee that you want, I could prepare that right- That's not what I was trying to say. Then what is it? An apology? Don't tell me you want my sister. I don't understand. Oh, stop playing and come over here. Do anything wrong? You can't get mad at me now. How? I won't ask you again. Yes, yes, ma'am. Are you 
too sorry for fighting each other. It wasn't a fight. I don't know. I, I feel like no one's hearing each other in this. They, they keep telling her they're just comparing. She keeps saying they were fighting. Are you too sorry for endangering each other? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Now here's your punishment. Whoa. If I catch you two again, you can expect a lot more than that. Whatever it is that she punished them with. And have you two even realized you're hurt everywhere? <laughs> this is nothing. I'll just lick it. They're just scratches. So please don't worry about I can't do that. I am a doctor after all, you know. Both of you it for the treatment. It's, it's now, the both of you are a lot stronger than the average person, and I'm sure that can lead to some advantages in life. But if you feel your strength for no reason, you'll hurt others someday, and yourself. It's in your best interest to keep that power hidden. Gotcha! I'll be careful, meow! Thanks again, booby lady! Thank you for the treatment. I'll excuse myself now. And, um, how much do I owe you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. I brought you here against your will anyway. Just, just like, no, never mind. Did I do something unnecessary? If that's the case, you have my apologies. Let's go, sis. We have no more business here. Uh, wait! to ask that child for his name too. I hope it was the right decision to not take that marionette away from him. And <laughs> Boyan's Deus Machina, I like that. Since he's a wanted bounty, I doubt he'll be on the main streets. I can make my way to back alleys. And there's the guy. Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Vash the Stampede. Hey, isn't that him? Yeah, I think he is. Though something doesn't feel quite right. Should we let the librarian know? You idiot, you're just gonna buy yourself some more trouble. You're right. <laughs> Pretend we didn't. Hmm. Call me. <laughs> uh, hmm. You tried the last one. Maybe it keeps other people from joining in. here well it's a clinic really but um w would you mind stopping by for a while <laughs> oh this guy's eavesdropping i have a few things to talk to you about and it's very important miss no! lychee don't tell me you've fallen for that youngster <laughs> it's pretty awesome i don't know what you're after but you should keep your distance from me. Please don't go yet. Miss Light, that sad expression. Could that man be your loved one? No, this can't be. <laughs> it's, it's man's duty to wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. So this guy's in love with her or something, but she doesn't know who he is. How do you know my name? Don't tell me you're a, a stalker. That is a misunderstanding as well. I am none other than Fang Shishigami. I'm a vigilante from Ronin Gai. And what was a vigilante doing sneaking in the shadows? So that's three vigilantes now. The cat, the little boy, and this guy. I have picked up a rumor that the great criminal Ryan has set foot in your town, so I was staking out, trying to capture him. A vigilante staking out this town? That makes it even more suspicious. So why did you run? I unconsciously started running because I thought you might hate me if you knew I was eavesdropping. So you were eavesdropping. <laughs> I'm handing you over to the NOL, so don't even think about resist- No, you can't do that! Please don't down Miss Lychee and tell me what I have to. Oh, what? No, please don't point that thing at me. This guy's not a good, uh, not a good bounty hunter. Here we go. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Oop, he got the drop on me because I was trying to different button. Well, this guy definitely lives up to his name. Or his title, anyways. <laughs> That's right, I got you trapped in the corner. <laughs> Awesome. I like the person with the dumplings in the background. That's pretty awesome. Oh, he finally broke out of my combo. Uh-oh. Yikes. He only had a little power left. Okay <laughs> I like this. Don't touch me! Don't you dare think you can overpower me with force! Understand? Oh, so now I have to rematch. Miss <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Freaking enemy. This is awesome. But also ridiculous. Why is this happening to me? Hmm? I guess I made it all the way to town chasing him, didn't I? If I'm not mistaken, this area is the Ronin district. What an unusual scene. Buildings descending from under the bridge? I guess it wouldn't hurt to go take a look at it. Hey lady, I don't believe we've met before. Who are these kids? What is going on? She just sits and talks to some kids. Where are you, Sam? <laughs> I'm from Orion Town, little girl. I remember now. You're a doctor, aren't you, lady? A doctor? Cool. Have we met before? No, but my mom says she's been to your clinic before. That she got some medicine from a pretty doctor with a panda in her hair. A panda? <laughs> well, I suppose you're right. That's probably me. How many other freaking doctors have pandas in Is that, like, all doctors in this place have pandas in their hair? And you're pretty, so it has to be you. No, no. Flattery will get you nowhere. Don't make girls cry when you grow up, okay? I won't do that. I'm gonna be an amazing person like our boss. Wait, boss? Aren't these little kids? I like the boss. The <laughs> boss? He's really strong and nice too. He saved everyone when the old town burned and built this new one here, you know. So the 
the boss is our hero. I see. He must be an amazing person. Yeah, and he looks really cool. It'd be great if you were his wife. What? Again with the flattery. I really am worried about your future. I wonder when he'll be back. I want you two to meet already. I made a prank. I want to show it to the boss. I hope your boss comes back soon. Oh, Miss Lychee! It's all a misunderstanding. The alternate truth is yet to be found. Mysterious. Alright, so... I... Does that mean I'm supposed to keep on with that? But I'm just going to do a little bit of Ragnar the Blood Edge's story. Just to the first save, just to get an idea of what it's like to... Actually, no, I'm going to do Arakune, because this guy intrigues me. Uh, but just a little bit more for the um <coughs> for the sake of the checkout. When I visited that room, I felt a sudden chill, and I wanted to run away. That room with stacks of paper and books thrown everywhere. And clippings posted on every wall. Thousands of memos were written on them, like a horde of spiders. But the characters were no longer legible, and none of it made sense. All the linguists in the world Without thinking, I reached for the notebook on the desk. It seemed to be a journal. A memorandum might be a better fit word compared to the cryptic words pasted all over the walls. That memorandum was surprisingly readable. Although the composition was that of a human language, it was still incomprehensible. In some parts, there were symbols and graphs that were impossible to understand. And some pages only contained one word, written over and over again. Maybe it was intended to be only understood by him. Or maybe he himself didn't know what he was writing. Whatever the case, this does not change the fact that these are important documents. Very vital in understanding that thing he was after. The sudden sound startled me and I looked back. However, there was nothing there, at least in my line of vision. But come to think of it, Ever since I walked into this room, someone was staring at me. Before I knew it, I had goosebumps all over. It was a transmission from my boss. I tried to say something, but nothing would come out. I had to get back to him later. I squeezed my voice out and told him, I'll get back to you with the details. Ah, oh, something was wrong. What was this presence? Interesting. This guy on the right makes me think of Hellboy. And like I said before, the guy on the left reminds me from Princess Mono. Okay, the guys go. Or maybe it's uh, the other movie, the one with uh, the girl that goes to the uh, the spa for the gods. Has one of these, I think. I can't remember. Scary looking. Just as I thought. Can't read and read. And all there is for me to do is to catch it. So I feel bad for her. Alright, looks like 
looks like it's fighting time. Let's see what moves this guy has. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one. Guy looks way bigger than me. Whoa. Guys, crazy to fight with. And I got him. Scary, drippy. This much power. This isn't good. He's messed with my power unit. Whoa. Alright, watching that guy talk is annoying as heck. Alright, let us close the story. Not sure if that worked. Let's see. There we go, that's where I want to go. Yep. Okay. So, um, there's two different characters. Kind of get an idea of, um, tips. Uh, get an idea of how the game works. Um, obviously there's all these other things like score attacks, and galleries, and so on and so forth. Doesn't look like I've unlocked anything for the gallery yet. Um, but, anyway, that's, uh, Blaz Blue Calamity Trigger. Um, I think um, it's pretty interesting as a game. Um, like I said before, there's certainly a lot more of a um, RPG element to it than the fighting games I'm used to playing. Um, <coughs> even more of an RPG element than Skullgirls, at least from what I played of that last time it was had a free weekend. Um, it seemed to um, have a bit more involved of a story. Like I said, uh, when I was a kid, I only played... Um, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter 2 and um, maybe like two matches of Street Fighter 4 when Dan had it on uh, Xbox or PlayStation. So um, not really a huge fighting uh, game person, but um, there's definitely a lot of potential here. Um, definitely some neat characters with some neat moves and um, the story's kind of interesting. I think I may revisit this in the future. Uh, probably won't get to it again this year. I have a backlog of games that I really, really want to play. Um, but this game, I think, could end up um, something I play again in the future. So anyway, uh, I just want to once again um, thank the anonymous donor for fifty dollars. Um, I want to entreat anyone to donate any amount from a dollar on up. Um, I'm still um, giving away. Um, either a 20% off to Ink Gaming or three months of XSplit Premium to the next person who donates and specifies uh, which of those they want in their uh, message. Um, just in case you're not the first person, feel free to do a first, um, a first choice, second choice. Um, we'll try and make that work. Um, thanks for watching. This was um, Eric checks out Blazblue Calamity Trigger. Good night.